This is really fascinating. I mean, I look at this and I can't get over it. This is by Sputnik News today. Scientists were shocked by this huge, strange-looking fish that washed up on a California beach. This is uh, by Shanty Universe. This is the image from his YouTube screenshot. Uh, it looks something in between a, a turtle and a whale. I, I can't make heads or tails what it is. It's just uh, weird. There's other pictures of it here as well. Um, all right, well, that's it. It washed up. So there's a lot of animals that we still have not discovered yet, obviously. The fish was discovered by ecologist Jessica Nielsen from the University of Goleta. She turned to a number of specialists from the US, Australia, and New Zealand for help investigating this dead fish. This strange looking seven foot fish was discovered on the coast in Southern California last week, according to CNN News. Nielsen said in a UC Santa Barbara press release, this is certainly the most remarkable organism I have seen washed up on the beach in my four years at the reserve. It looks something like between a huge, I don't know, something like a huge uh, fillet of sole or something. <laughs> it's strange. I mean, there's a lot of pictures here. You can see a couple of more. It turned out to be the hoodwinker sunfish that are found exclusively in the southern hemisphere near the coast of Australia and New Zealand, South Africa and Chile. And how it crossed the equator ending up in California is still not clear. Scientists say that the sunfish may be a specimen of the still unexplored pack of hoodwinker living in the waters of North America. So this could be gracing the North American seas as well. It's astonishingly ugly, <laughs> huge. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> All right, so I'll let you enjoy the pictures. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.